Good morning. Um, it is 6.18. Can you read that? Actually, you probably can't because it goes backwards. 6.18 a.m. <laughs> and um, you can hear. How many times do you wake up? You, you know, you've got some, you've got to sing the next day, right? Uh, for whatever reason, you get to bed late. Um, you've got a cold or you're a little bit sick and you can hear now it's early yet for me but I was when I was in bed and I woke up this morning I know I turned my phone off last night well I didn't turn it, I turned it over after going through Facebook and Instagram and you know stuff that you shouldn't do before you go to sleep at 1 a.m. right I turned it off rolled it over and put it on my on my bed, bed uh, bedside table there and and I woke up at 4.15. Aww. One, two, three, four, three hours and 15 minutes. And then I laid there f until six o'clock uh, thinking about a million things that I have to do, that I want to do, that anyway, just, you know how that goes. Well, w the result is, uh, is this voice this morning. Plus one whole nostril was like stopped up completely. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, uh, I'm going to do an audition on Saturday morning. It's it's not for a singing role, but it's for a musical, uh, Camelot, and I'm going to have to sing anyway for the audition. So, uh, you know, I've, I don't want to be getting sick. I've got to do a video today for, I want to do a video today for my YouTube channel for you very important people. And um, I thought, well, all right, so here's the situation was very real where I have got to, I've got, and I'm teaching, I've got quite a bit, uh, quite a few students coming today, some Skype lessons from uh, throughout the world, as well as students who are coming into my studio. So I've got, uh, I've got this scratch in my voice. So it's, it's 620. Now I'm going to just kind of give you a run through of what I want to do today to try and get my voice working a little bit better. And so that if I had to sing tonight to a show or something, it would be somewhat prepared. So here's, I'm just going to do some filming today and some talking into the camera and then we'll, I'll just assemble the, the, the video at the end of this whole thing and uh, put it together and hopefully it'll come out to show you. I'm going to do an experiment on myself. I'm going to do certain things now this morning uh, to try and get my voice working. But just to kind of get uh, a baseline here, I'm going to sing for you. And uh, let me turn on my, um, oh, I've got to plug it in. Hold on a second here. Now, okay, so. It's, you know, it just feels like really tight. It feels tight. It's the A flat on top there, but <clears throat> you can hear I've got uh, uh, just my speaking voice. <laughs> That's, it sounds like I only got three hours and 15 minutes of sleep today. So, um, I said, ah, the bottom is where it really shows for me. Ah, that's the low B. Ah, ah, ah. <clears throat> That's that A again on top. Ah, well, it's early, and so you would expect uh, things to be a little bit um, tight, a little bit stiff, but <clears throat> this is a little worse than I normally am. <clears throat> so 
Let's see if I can get my voice cleared out today just by doing some certain things. First thing I'm going to do is a nasal wash. Uh, I won't show you that. I'll show you how I mix it and stuff. All right, so um, let's just go in. Here's my my standard way of doing the the uh, neti pot. Neti pot is this little thing right here, right? Fill it up with a uh, solution, and I'll I'll show you uh, I'll show you what I'm how I'm going to mix it and stuff. And you put it in one nostril, lean over, washes out one side, put it in the other, refill it, put it in the other nostril, wash it out on the other side. I have to say that this helped me a lot in my last show, which was in December. And, um, you know, I'm lucky enough to play an old guy with, um, you know, in, in December I played Ebenezer Scrooge. And so, you know, if your voice is a little scratchy and it's not real critical because I'm a gra you know, you, Scrooge is, is you know, at the beginning of the show, he's quite an un un unkind individual, you know. Uh, so, it'd be things like, My dear sir, every idiot who goes about with Merry Christmas on his lips should be boiled in his own pudding and buried with a stake of holly through his heart. You know, big frown, the whole thing. And so, if the voice is uh, scratchy or rough, no big deal. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do here is uh, put in um, a couple cups of water, all right? And so I fill it up where it says two cups and um, with water that is not too hot. I don't want it to, uh, I don't want it to burn the inside of my nostrils and I've got it hot too hot before. Oh, there we go. All right. Got it? So this is a half, a half, half teaspoon, mm, half TSP. What's that? Half teaspoon. And, um, I put that into two cups of water and then I do about, uh, with baking soda, I do about, um, about half that, okay? And I put that into that solution too. So it's baking soda, and that first was salt, if I didn't say that. So um, a full half teaspoon of salt, and then uh, half of that amount of baking soda. And I'm gonna do a nasal wash right now, okay? So it's kinda like first thing. Um, and, um, I will, mm, I don't think I'm going to show you this, so I'm just going to turn this this way for a moment. I'm going to wash it down. In this kind of season, like where there's a lot of flu going on, I don't, I'm not going to blow my nose. I'm just going to, you know, just kind of wipe the saline out. Uh, I'm not going to blow it because I don't want to, I just don't think it's a good idea at this point. Um, that sometimes makes things even tighter up here. So that's pretty good wash. And um, and that takes the two cups pretty well. So, okay, now the next thing I'm going to do, for my voice particularly, uh, I found it really, really helpful to get play of water, okay? So I have a routine every day. It's dark here still. So my routine is to come up here to my, now we have this thing, we have this machine here. Let me see here, I don't know if you can see this or not. Yeah, it's called uh, um, Level Up. And it's Kangen water, Kangen water. It's it's uh, very high hydrogen water and uh, high alkaline water. Here's my trusty glass. It's 32 ounces, and I'm gonna fill this thing up with 32 ounces. 
Yeah, so there's another thing I've been doing that's helped me, I think. I mean, I had some cast members getting sick, and I was sick. I mean, I had a cold. Um, and so, on the recommendation of another teacher, uh, Lorna Goodwin, she um, said, look, you got to get some of this stuff. This is, this is called On Guard. It's from Deterra. And so, in the mornings. So, um, I, I'm going to fill this up with... Fill up my 32 ounces with Congan water, which is the high high. Now, I'm not saying you have to do this. If you just have tap water, I would I would do it with tap water in a heartbeat because it's usually, in the States at least, uh, very well uh, balanced. And uh, so I put one drop of this doTERRA in this 32 ounces and uh, I stir it up because it's... Now the Kangen water, even though this is oil, the Kangen water, because of the uh, chemistry of this water, and I'm not selling this machine. My wife bought it, and it seems to do pretty well for my voice. But I, like I say, I think you just do this with, with water, and you would be fine. So I down this thing every day. I've got Kangen water. It's virtually 32. It's probably about 30 ounces. So I'm just going to down this whole thing right off the bat so I get a good start. And it really, I can feel it on my vocal cords. It helps, I think. I've never been a good chugger of anything. My wife can almost pour it down, and it goes really fast. The other thing I've been doing, and, you know, it's just because somebody gave this to us, but I've been doing uh, vitamin C, uh, 1,000 milligrams, and it's... Uh, it's cranberry pomegranate. So I immediately refill my glass with uh, another 30 ounces. Um, and, and then I'm going to put this little packet of stuff here into my drink. It's kind of, it's kind of, it's, uh, it's pink, okay? And uh, stir it in. It smells good. Adds a little bit of flavor. It's pretty watered down with 30 ounces of, of water. This vitamin C mix, I would just take, now my wife uh, has a, I don't know, a little juicer thing that she's juiced just straight pure lemon. So I'm taking three tablespoons of lemon juice and um, mixing that in to my, my water, in this case, is water plus that vitamin C. So now, throughout the day today, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be just sipping this, this uh, water, you know, as I get thirsty. So I've already got 30 ounces in me. Um, and so I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna drink, sip that water during the day. The other thing that I do, which um, is because I have a very um, vigilant spouse, my wife, she makes green drinks. So we chop up, <laughs> you know, we chop up, uh, we've got kale, collards. Uh, I mean, look at this. Look at this. These are frozen. These are frozen. Uh, Oh, uh, you can't see the picture very well, but let me see. How can I get this? This is frozen vegetables here. Uh, leafy green vegetables, kale and, and uh, uh, Swiss chard, okay? And this is rainbow chard. You can see kind of the red uh, and different colors in the vines. But she will grind this up today with some fruit um, berries, bananas, some other things, and I will drink, uh, another pint of that, okay, so I'm, I'm, you know, I'm getting well over a half a gallon of fluids by doing that, and that is really helpful for my voice, my vocal cords. So already, I, I, personally, I can feel when my, when I've hydrated, so I've, I can tell that I've now got some water um, in me, you know, like 30 ounces. That doTERRA is, I think, maybe helping 
prevent colds? I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just giving you my story. I think it helped me get through the show. We had people getting sick, and I was able to ward that off. I, I don't have any data to support that. It's anecdotal, but um, the fluids have, are, are going to help. Now, I'm hoping today that the fluids are going to help me because I've only had three and a half hours of sleep. That means scratchy voice all day long. And uh, so I, I'm going to, a, it's about uh, 6.38 now. I'm going to uh, s stop the video, and later on today, I'm going to I'm going to do some vocal exercises as if I were sick. So I've got some exercises that I that I recommend for uh, sickness. So I'm going to recommend them for scratchy voice too, and then take a break, like 45 minutes to an hour after I do the exercises. Then I'll come back and do some exercises again. We'll see how the voice is feeling. A few moments later. Okay, so here's what that green drink looks like, although it doesn't really look green. It looks kind of green-brown, but uh, it tastes great, and it's very good for you. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do some vocal warm-ups now. It's about 8.52 a.m., and I want to uh, try and get my voice a little bit better shape than it's in right now. These last about 15 Man. minutes, so I'll probably reduce oh, the size or edit it. <laughs> If I'm really rough and scratchy or, or sick, I'll do it with my lips closed. Congestion on the chords. Okay, it's pretty realistic. This is what it sounds like at 9 a.m. in the morning when I've only had three and a half hours of sleep. It's very similar to being sick. So um, this is an experiment. I'm doing the, uh, the exercises for men uh, for sick voices and uh, we'll see what happens. I start teaching in 20 minutes on Skype, and I might uh, record a little bit of that, but uh, primarily I want to come back later on today after doing these uh, warm-ups this morning and see if there's an improvement um, in my voice later on uh, throughout the day. One hour later. Okay, so to pick up where I left off, this morning I got up after three, three hours and 15 minutes of sleep with a really scratchy voice. I taught about four, four and a half hours today. I did the vocal exercises for the sick or the tired voice this morning, and I just did them about an hour ago. So I think I'm actually a little less scratchy as a result of that. So we'll just have to see, um, you know, what what that uh, what that sounds like. But if I say, That's pretty good. That's, it gets a little scratchy, but that's the low F, F2. So that's not too bad. Um, so in a situation where you're sick 
If you'll do, and I found this to be true, if you do these exercises for the sick, and, or the sick voice, it's a free download on the website in the Knowledge Center. Just go to Downloads. Um, and I'm, I do this exercise, now this is the second time I've done them today. You want to do them easy, and I did them again tonight. So the second time I've done them, and I think it's actually helped after a full day of, uh, of voice type things. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and sing now. This is a song I'm going to sing on Saturday morning. Uh, it's for an audition. That's my second tape. Uh, as you can hear, I still got a little of that scratch in my voice, but uh, that's the end of a day with three and a half, three hours and a quarter of sleep and uh, some teaching and doing a couple series of exercises and drinking plenty of fluids just to help a tired voice. I hope this has been somewhat informative.